My name is Christina Giacona, and uh, this past summer uh, I was a Dale Society Fellow and I was going through the archive of Jack Frederick Hilpatrick, looking at his manuscripts, looking at his archival materials uh, to put together um, an archive that we're going to hold here at the Western History Collection. The librarian in the Fine Arts uh, Library, Matt Stock, um, found these 37 boxes of these materials that they weren't 100% sure what they were, um, and they were cleaning out the attic and kind of wanted to get rid of the boxes. And he gave me a phone call and said, hey, do you know of this composer, Jack Kilpatrick? And I said, the name sounds familiar. I'm not sure why. Let's not throw them away just yet. Uh, and so uh, this was about a year ago. And then uh, after we're going through the boxes, we realized we actually had a gem. And uh, there was this Native American Cherokee composer who essentially had been performed throughout his life, but has not been performed since, since his death. And so uh, these boxes were a glimpse into his music from, uh, from you know, the 1930s, 40s, and 50s. The Dale Society Fellowship allowed me to essentially have two months of just undivided attention focusing on these materials. So the first part of the fellowship really was just going through the boxes and seeing what we actually had and then from there coming up with a plan on how we were going to archive the materials. What I really enjoyed about this opportunity with the fellowship and working in the Western History Collection is the encouragement I had from everybody that worked here and then the sheer number of pieces we found in the boxes. So uh, Kilpatrick wrote about 500 pieces and he personally labeled the opus number so he labeled 170 77 opus numbers, meaning that the pieces that he deemed worthy of completion and performance. Uh, so actually every time I found something that was really interesting, I would show it to somebody in the library and they were just as excited as I was. So that was really probably the most fun and interesting part of the fellowship. Honestly, it was just an opportunity that I don't think I would get anywhere else where it's Native American music housed in a location where you're surrounded by live Native American music.